Good morning, friends. This is Grace here. It is Monday morning. What is today's date? It is August 22nd, Monday morning, 8.15 a.m. I am coming to you live as a hostess in the Craft Around the Clock group. So excited to be here this morning. I have something really fun to do. I have not done it in a long time. And I'm reminding myself how much I love working with master boards. Some people call them master boards. You could call it, I suppose, a collage board. Either way, they're really fun to work with and to do and to use up your paper scraps. So when you come on, please say hello. Let me know that you're here. Happy Monday morning to you. I do have my coffee ready. I'm actually, I think, on my second cup. Um, where are you coming in from? I'd love to know. I'm here in North Dakota. My business is the Comfy Nest with Grace, and I love to do paper journaling. I love all kinds of crafts, but I specifically um, have spending, been spending a lot, a lot of time paper journaling and junk journaling, using up our stuff <laughs> to create pretty things. So good morning. Thanks for being here. Please say hello when you get here. Um, I think I'll do a giveaway today. So the giveaway is going to include, um, I'm going to be sending some napkins out because I love to create with napkins. Yesterday I was working with um, napkins and tags just on my own, just for fun. Um, I'd love to send some napkins out to some of you. So please hit that share button. That's today's giveaway. Hit the button. Help me uh, get the word out there about the Comfy Nest with Grace. And anybody who does that, please comment that you've done that. And then I'll pull one or two winners for um, some happy mail. I'll send you some happy mail. So thanks for being here. All right, let me grab the feed. Let's see, where am I? Am I here yet on Facebook? Has Facebook determined that? Yes, there it is. That was quick and easy. Okay, so we're gonna be creating with some of our scraps. So tell me in the comments, do you have paper scraps on hand? Do you keep paper scraps? Do you know what I mean by paper scraps? Just little scraps of decorative papers that weren't used for other things. And they could be strips. They could be, um, you know, cutouts from shapes that you needed for your projects. Tell me if you have some in the comments. We are going to be working with those today and some other items that would have been deemed junk to make something really pretty. I'm going to make a journal um, out of a master board. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Christy. Good morning, my friend from Funky Junk Inspiration. Hey, Jeannie Clifton and Cindy is here. Hi, Diane and Kathy. Thank you for sprinkling. Go ahead and share, you guys. Those of you who share, I'm going to put your name in um, randomly. To I'm going to choose two Happy Mail winners. Um, I'll announce the winners in my free group, the um, Crafty Chicks Club, later. So go ahead and please sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, I'm going to get you down on my table so you can see. Well, actually, first, let me show you this. I'm going to create the master board out of um, one of these. These are the covers, you guys. I I keep these covers for the scrapbook paper that I buy. When I buy them in paper packs, um, the covers, when I'm done with the paper pack and it's all gone, the covers for these paper packs, and this one's totally in, intact, it's completely intact. These covers are nice, like really thick cardstock, um, and they are 12 by 12 size, so they're a really nice size. And we're going to use one of these to create a master board out of scrap paper. And then we're going to use it to create a journal cover. I know, lots to do this morning. So I'm going to get you down on my table. Um, I have my iPad right here so I can see comments. Good morning, Carol. Thanks for sprinkling, Diane. Your name is going to go in to win some happy mail. So thank you for doing that. Good morning, Ocean Breeze and me, Miss Mary. Hello. All right, Shelly's here. Let me get you down on my table. All right, I've already started one, you guys, because um, I want to show you like the full process if possible. So this is one of the covers to a paper pad. You can see <laughs> three sheets of every design. And actually, this whole section that shows you all the designs that you get in this paper pack is kind of pretty, right? It's pretty in its own accord. So I'm going to use this to create a cover for a junk journal. So all I'm doing, and you can see all my scraps right here. Like I have, I went through and I pulled from my bin of scrap paper, a bunch of neutral colored scrap paper. And I've already started to collage them together to create the cover for my junk journal. Um, Kathy says, I keep paper scraps, dry sheets if they pick up pretty colors in the laundry. Oh, dryer sheets. I keep up uh, crinkle package paper. I keep it all, Kathy. I'm with you, honey. I keep it all. So I've already started this and all I'm using, you can use any glue that you want. You could use a glue stick. 
I'm going to try to use up, I have this jar of Mod Podge that's almost out. So I'm going to use this up and I have a little piece of wax paper on here to catch any extra glue. My, my thing is ripped right here. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to put, what I'll do there is put like a heavy card stock. I'll try to find a heavier piece of paper. Let's see here. This one's kind of a heavier piece. Uh, you see, it's just an ugly scrap, right? Like the paper's pretty. But the scrap, <laughs> what, what do you do with that? Uh, we're going to use it here to cover up this hole because it's a nice, hard, um, thicker paper. Generally, when I do the collage work, I like to use thinner paper on a cardboard. Like this is a cardstock base. So, but I usually like to use thicker. But for this one, since we're trying to cover up this hole, <laughs> we're going to use this heavier cardstock. And you can see, I'm just going to glue down and I go over, I go under, and we're going to try to fill in this space with scraps of paper. So this is the whole process is you just grab scraps of paper. You don't think too much and you're going to start gluing them down. That's it. That's it. This part's really fun. It's a great thing to do while you're catching up with your Netflix or, um, you know, Sometimes my, my family, I live with all boys, and they like to watch things that I am not the least bit interested in. So sometimes when they're watching something I don't appreciate, <laughs> this is a good thing to sit and do while my boys are watching, you know, cross, you know, what's it called? Motocross or wrestling or something that mama, mama's just not interested. It just doesn't, it just doesn't suit my needs, boys. So I will do some crafting and I'm just, you can see, I'm just filling in the space. I did, before I started, I did go ahead and you can see they're all very muted colors. There's no pinks, no reds, no purples. They're all very muted colors so that at least the cover would be cohesive. Look at this scrap from, it's a coffee dyed calendar paper. And I love this. Um, let's, let's just, I'm gonna see if I can get like a couple of days in here <laughs> like this. This one's kind of big, so let's get it down. And it still has the little tab that says September. Like, how cute would that be on there? Let's get this. I don't think I want it straight in the middle of my page, though. So maybe let's maybe put it down here. Like, yeah, let's just put it right here. Why not? Don't overthink it. When you overthink it, it takes all the fun out of it. So just... <laughs> Just glue it down, girls, girls and boys, if there are any men here. Usually, I call the folks that hang out with me on my page Crafty Chicks because we're generally the chicks hanging out here. Um, Mary says, mine are grown, but all boys here as well. So you 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 can relate to what I'm talking about out there, Mary. Okay, thin script. This is a piece of rice paper, actually, um, from a project that I had done. So let's get that on here. I mean, it's a little leaf. That could be cute right there. Whoops. I'm just gonna get that down on there. And you see, we're just filling in space. I got so much paper, you guys. If you're like me, you probably do too. Generally, I try not to use straight edges, but today I thought for the sake of time, I'm not gonna be overly fussy about this. We're just gonna fill in the space. I need one that's kind of shaped differently. So let's just use up our stuff, right? So see what we're getting here? This is called a master board and it's a collage of leftover papers. I do, I have lots of book paper in different um, sizes, leftover book pages. So let's get one of those on there because that's always visually interesting. Who likes to paper craft? Who out there likes to paper craft? Tell me that. Let me know if you're new here to the Comfy Nest with Grace. I would love to give you a special welcome. And I know that the other crafty chicks that are here would love to do the same. I'm digging because I have so many pretty papers and um, I want to make sure we use them. So I'm kind of digging in my pile looking for what could be the next pretty thing that we put down on here. There we go. Is everybody excited for a new week? Can you believe it? Joy loves making master boards. It, it goes pretty fast. If you, you can't overthink it, Lori, though. Like if you, if you start to do to yourself, oh, I don't like those two colors together, or I'm not so sure I put, should put a stripe next to a circle. If you start doing that to yourself, 
<laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, first of all, it becomes stressful. And then second of all, it, then it's going to become more lengthy. It's going to become more difficult. So just, just glue it down. I promise you it's, it's incredibly fun. Uh, the other thing is, this is, it's pretty obvious once I point it out, but the bigger your scraps of paper, the faster this will go. So if you do a bunch of little pieces that are this big, it's going to take a lot longer than doing a bunch of pieces of paper that are this big because you get more coverage, right? So let's just actually, this really big one, let's just stick it up here in this corner. Since we're talking about it, I'm going to put down my wax paper here just to catch the glue that I put off the edge. And then where is that piece? Let's just, let's just do this. Whoa, let's just do this. I love coffee stained papers. I love them. I just think they're so interesting to look at. And every piece is a little bit different. So now I have this spot right here that's kind of just needing something. This is double-sided, so this will work. Actually, I don't want that straight edge on there. Let's just grab this and put it right there. I have a little spot there. I think I'm going to end up cutting this down, you guys, um, because the journal that I'm going to make is going to be six by six. This piece of paper, it's the cover for a uh, decorative scrapbook paper pad, and so it's 12 by 12. So I'm going to cut it down to six by six. to make a six by six journal, which I think is a, is a nice size for a journal. This is a piece of um, rice paper too. I'm just looking for different pieces here. I've got this from a butterfly. It's a piece of paper that I, I made a photocopy of a book that had butterflies and moths in it. So let's get that down right there. That little moth might, might like living right there. All right, we're doing pretty good. I actually think I only need to fill in a little bit more before I can cut this down to make the cover of my journal. Um, so let's go over to this side of the page and try to fill this in. I'll get my coffee cup out of the way, my excess paper. I'm gonna turn this just to make it easier for you to see. Check comments real quick. Tags, backgrounds, and journal. Um, cards. Yeah, these master boards, you can cut them down and make so many things out of them. You've just given me some big inspiration for denim lace and pearls. Ooh, created with love by June Bug. Well, I assume your name is June. So I'm glad to know that we've given you some inspiration this morning. Hey, Lori Fitzgibbon. Thanks for being here. I was a guest. Um, so I imagine you're in Sarah's group. I was a guest in Art Ventures. She has a private group and I was a guest in there. So Lori, you must be coming from over there. That's kind of fun and exciting to have you here. All right, we're going to fill in this spot with this and I don't need all of it. So I'm going to tear that because I think I only need six inches of cover and I'm going to fold it in half. So I, I don't need to go all the way to the bottom. Now, of course, you know, if it's just me working on my own, I would fill the whole board because I want to, first of all, I want to use up all my scraps. And as Joy was pointing out, if I use six inches of this, a six inch piece of this for a journal cover, the rest of it can be used to make tags, to make, um, journaling cards for inside your journals to make just about anything. Uh, let's see, we've got this butterfly and actually these little scraps, you can use these too. There's, I mean, there's not a whole lot of graphic on there, but that's okay because we want to put something on the cover of our journal anyway. This pretty, pretty butterfly could go right here or moth. I don't know which it is. This is so, I don't know why this process is so satisfying to me, but it really is. It's kind of exciting to use up your scraps. It just makes for really interesting. It kind of makes me think of a quilt, like a quilted board. Um, this got 
I have this little scrap too. Like I could work that in somewhere, but I think what I'll do for this one is work it on top somewhere, like on top of something else. So I'm going to put that aside and we'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, let me dig for a little bit more. Here's a good scrap. So I literally went through my bin of scrap paper and was just picking out neutral colored scraps and not caring too much about what was on them. I got that little piece. Snippet rolls. That's another great way to use up your scraps. I've been I've been doing a little bit of work with those lately too. This is a master board. Yep, this is a master board, Kimberly. It's a board. Some people call it, I, you could call it a collage board too. That would make more sense, I think, in terms of the name of it. Um, but this is it. This is a master board where you're using scraps of paper to create a board that you can cut down and use in a variety of ways in your crafting. Uh, it's a great, great way to use up scraps. All right, let's try to fill this spot in right here. And let's just, I'm just going to use a big piece because that will make it go by real quick if I just use this really big piece. I said I wasn't going to fill the whole thing. And now I feel like I can't even help myself. I can't even help myself, girls. I want to like just fill it in because I can make tags with what's left. Whatever we don't use for this junk journal cover. I can make tags with. So I hate to just write. Since I had already gotten a jump start, maybe I should just finish. <laughs> Putting a little Mod Podge on the top because Mod Podge is your glue, but it's also a top coat. Um, it really does prep the board too, as well. It preps the board for other things that might be coming depending on what you decide to use your board for, whether you're making gift tags or if you're making journal pockets for your journals or you're using it as a cover for your journal. Oh gosh, you guys, I just need really one big piece of paper right here would fill this in. Let's get something a little more interesting than that. Oh, look at this one. I think it'll fit. Yes, bud, <laughs> it does. All right. So on most of it, you'll, you'll just, I'll just point out on most of it, it's pretty much done. Most of it, I lined up the edges of the paper that I was putting down, the scrap paper, to the edge of the motherboard, like the master board, the actual foundation piece that I used, which is the cover of a paper pad. I did that for most of it. Let me uh, let me just get down these couple of spots that are sticking up. That September is just going to stick up, I think. It's like kind of plasticky. That's interesting. We'll just leave it. So for most of it, I lined up the edges, but for some of it, I didn't. So you can see right here, like that is not lined up. That's not a straight edge. So we're going to need to straighten that. Usually when I do these boards, I don't line anything up. I go right over the edge for the whole thing. But on this one, I didn't because I had lots of scraps of paper that had straight edges. So I thought, let's just use them up. We're going to dry this. I'm going to put all of these papers. This is like all of my scraps of paper. We're going to put these aside so that we can start to create the journal out of this. And I may end up using these. I may end up using those. Um, I'm not sure. But let's dry this. And then we'll uh, we'll create our journal cover. And I'm actually going to create a journal here with you. Good morning. Good morning. If you're just coming in, thanks for joining me. This is Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. I live in North Dakota. I have a small business. I have a couple of membership groups, private membership groups, where I teach uh, crafting. Uh, one of them is specifically for napkin lovers called the Napkin Lovers Club. And the other one is general crafting, and it's called the Craft Therapy Club. I'm also a chalk couture designer. I have been since the company started in 2017. Love my chalk couture stuff. So welcome, welcome. Good morning, Cheryl. Thanks for saying hello. Yes, you could do anything you wanted. Jennifer said, can you mix tissues or napkins with the paper? You can do, girlfriend, you can do whatever you want. In fact, 
Remember this little piece? Like that would be really fun to work in here. But you know what? I'm going to save this and try to work it in to the, I'm going to do, uh, make the cover decorative. So I'm going to try to work that in once the cover, once it's all done. I have one little spot right here. Imagine that girls, I missed a corner. Sticking up, let's get that down. Isn't that cool looking you guys? It reminds me of a quilt. This is a collaged master board and you can do this on anything. It doesn't have to be a cover of a paper pad. Like if you just don't have the cover to a paper pad right now, um, you could just use a regular piece of printer paper. You could use a piece of cardboard. You could use cereal boxes. Like open your cereal box up and use the one big flat panel on the front and back. And you could use those to make a master board. And then you'll have this gorgeous collage that you've made out of junk, basically. So a cereal box, a cover of a paper pad and your scraps of paper. And you can make something really pretty to create with later. Um, Ocean Breeze and Me wants to know, do I have a private group for journaling? We do journaling in both of my groups, the Napkin Lovers Club and in the Craft Therapy Club, but we do the bookmaking um, and more of it in the Craft Therapy Club. So if you're interested in learning more about this kind of crafting, um, join the Craft Therapy Club. You try it out. It, there's no commitment to stay for any lengthy time. It is a subscription group, a monthly subscription group. I go live weekly in there. Um, and then we do one major project a month and I always have a guest crafter. So lots of stuff being shared in there. And if you're interested in enjoying, joining, um, go to the comfinesswithgrace.com and go to the craft therapy club tab. And you guys, I'll give you a discount code right now. You can use the code try club. I'm going to type it in try club. It'll give you $5 off your first month. So I'm going to type that Tri Club. That's the discount code. I'm putting it in the in the comments. Welcome to newbies. Joy. If you're in the craft therapy club, in either of the membership clubs, give us a hi and um, let us know what you love about the membership clubs. Okay, so see, some of it goes over the edge. I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I am going to do, I need a six inch length of this because I want to make a six by six journal. And I want this prettiest part of the back for the cover, um, I'll use that for the inside of the cover. So I'm gonna cut, let's just take a ruler and see. If I want it to be six inches wide, like I could take this section right here. And if I do that, if I cut this far in, you know what I need to do before I cut, I'm gonna straighten out this edge right here. So my cutting is straight when I put it in the cutting board. I'm using the foundation piece of paper, which is 12 by 12 as my guide for cutting that little bit of the edge off. And I'm gonna cut, I need six inches. And I don't wanna cut on one of these lines. I wanna cut right off of one of those lines so it, it looks more natural. So this, piece we can use to make tags later. So this will not get thrown out. That's a great piece of paper that I can use to make tags. Now I have a straight edge here. I have a straight edge here. I'm going to use this to make a six inch cut to make the cover of this junk journal. So we're going to go six by six. So let's cut this way six inches. And now that can be the inside and that will be the outside of my journal. Oh, look at the butterfly or the moth on there. So let's, this is going to become now the cover of this junk journal that we're going to make. How fun is that, you guys? I'm so interested, but I'll have to wait until we are moved. We're moving outside of the state in two weeks. Oh, that sounds exciting. And it sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> so good luck with you. And yes, I hope you will. I hope you'll join us when you're ready. You just reach out to me and I'll get you that code again in a couple of weeks so you can give it a try. Hello, Jennifer. Good morning. Joy says, Grace is a great teacher, very generous, inspirational, and funny. We have a good time. Joy, we certainly do. We certainly do, my sweet friend. Hi, Sybil. Hello. Hey, friend. Lori says, I use napkins a lot. I love using them. I do, too. I do, too. I'm going to be sending out a couple of sets of napkins, some happy mail to those of you who are here. Um, so, 
make sure that you hit that share button and then comment and let me know that you did sprinkle, spread, you know, <laughs> sprinkle the blessings, spread the blessings, fluff the nest, we call it here. <laughs> Lori says, another junk journal in my future. Woohoo! Girls, it's so much fun to use our stuff up, isn't it? So much fun. Okay, so here's a, this, oh, we got this little spot that wants to come up right here. Let's just, let's do a little fix-up job right there. Come on, baby. I know you want to behave, don't you? There we go. All right. Oh, another one right here. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half, and I want this to be the inside. See, it's already decorative. I don't even have to do anything to that. I can certainly fill that or... Um, cover it up or do whatever you want with it but the inside cover of this book will already be decorative so that's a real bonus I'm going to show you a really easy way to make a journal if sewing a binding is intimidating for you if you're just new to this and you want to make a really simple journal really quickly and you don't want to sew the binding together um, what I mean by that let me grab one of my journals and I'll show you um, so this is one of the most recent ones that I made, this little junk journal. I did this for Craft Around the Clock when it was going Fruity Week. Oh, and by the way, the theme this week is on the farm. Um, so I will be working that out in the end on the cover of this book. And that's what I did here. So this is a junk journal that I made with a food box, um, and lots of scraps of paper on the inside. I started decorating the inside of this one, um, but you'll see... I have telephone pages in here, <laughs> um, coloring book pages from an adult coloring book I got at the thrift store, some music sheets from my kids' music lessons at school. Um, so this is, this is a junk journal, and you can see here, this is the middle of this signature that I sewed right in. So that's a piece of wax thread, and I sewed it right in. I have two signatures here, see the two threads? We sewed it right into the, the binding of the book so it holds together really well. So you can see here that there are two signatures, one, two. See them? Two, a signature is a grouping of pages inside the book that you can use to, to journal, to doodle, to write lists, or to decorate. I really like decorating them with scraps of paper and fabric and thread and all the things. Um, so this one is sewn together, but I'm going to show you today, if that intimidates you, the sewing part of it, if you're brand new to it, or you just don't have a lot of time, or you don't have the energy one day, and you want to create a quick journal, this is going to be a really fast way to do it. This will be a really fast way. Good morning, Phyllis. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, Kathy. You like my, my this is the Gone Fruity Week. <laughs> this is the junk journal for Gone Fruity Week. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. It's, I've been having fun decorating that one on my own. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half. This is going to become the cover of our journal. So it does help if you have something stiff. A, bone, a lot of people use a bone folder. I use this thing a lot. It's just a scraper. Um, let me see if I can find my bone folder. This is what a bone folder looks like, and a lot of paper crafters use it to get a nice crease on your books. So we're going to fold this in half right in half and right here is where I want to have the nice crease so and it's it feels still a little bit damp from the glue but for the sake of time we're going to move on so here's where you want to get that nice crease going because that's where we're going to create that's going to become the cover of our book like this so that will become the cover I love that that moth is right there that's kind of fun this little piece wants to stick out. It's like, it's a collaged piece that's, I didn't get the edge right there. See it? And there's a decorative piece of paper underneath that. So you can either glue it down or you just cut it off if there's something underneath that covering it. But we need to get that to stick down. So I'm going to add a little more Mod Podge and really hold that down. Give that time to dry. Now the next thing to do this will be the cover of this pretty little journal. The next thing to do is to create the inside, so the paper that's gonna be inside. Most of the time when I create these, I, like I showed you in this one, I use 
this is an old, old phone book. It's a couple years old from our, our county. So I use pieces of paper from music books. I'm like this was my kid's homework that I, he threw it out. It was, it was homework from band. Um, my, both of my kids are in band in high school and he threw out these music sheets that it even has his writing on parts of it, his penciled notes, um, that he wrote on it and he threw it in the garbage and I'm like, why are you throwing that out? I'll use it in my junk journal. So I cut up bits of pa like paper that would have gotten thrown out. This is a magazine. This is that, that coloring book again. Um, this, I was just playing with my jelly plate. So this is jelly plate paper. Um, so I usually use junk in my junk journals, magazine pages, phone book pages, uh, papers that I printed off and then never used. I mean, just junk. But today we're going to create a really clean cover or a really clean signature on the inside. I took, I have um, legal size paper. I don't know where we got it, but we have a whole ream of legal size paper. And my kids, they're 15 and 17. They don't color and draw anymore. When they were little, I would take these reams of paper that were, I don't know if we got them at the thrift store or where we got them, and I would put them out for them to finger paint and color and just draw and do things. Well, they don't use it anymore. So I cut it down. I cut down this legal paper ahead of time, and I fold it in half to create the signature for the inside. So this book, this book is going to have all white paper on the inside, which is really great because if you're a list maker um, or if you like to doodle or if you just want to start with a really clean, bright piece of paper rather than a magazine page or a coloring book page, this is a great way to do it. You just take paper and you cut it down to size, fold it in half, and we're going to make a really simple signature out of this. So I have this already cut down to size. And then I, I have this little scrap bit that's a little bit more paper that isn't quite the right size, but it's still the right height. So I can fit that into this book as well. So this would become one signature in the center of this book. And normally I would sew it in, but today we're gonna do something really, really simple and we're just gonna tie it in. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here, Cheryl. Thanks for sprinkling. That means I'm going to, your name is entered to win maybe some Happy Mail. How fun is that? So anybody who shares today, I'm going to and let me know in the comments that you did. And then um, later on, I'm going to pull a couple of winners and I'll, I'll reply to your comment to let you know that you won. So watch your notifications for that. Um, and I'll also announce it in the Crafty Chicks Club, which is my free group. Hello, hello, good morning, everybody. Thanks for saying hi. Okay, so we're just gonna tie this in. You can use ribbon, you can use jute, you can use whatever you want, but I thought I have this bag, who has embroidery thread just sitting around? A bag of embroidery thread just sitting around here. I'm going to flip this over and I'm gonna look at the cover. I have lots of green on the back. And it's funny, actually, the way this collage worked out, I have green, 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 green green but on this side no green like not a spot of green but I thought green would be a nice color to use because there's so much of it here so and oh I have this little bit of green maybe I can work this in up front and then this will match perfectly this embroidery thread that I haven't even opened yet apparently oh lord I don't even know how to start these things normally the embroidery thread that I use looks like this bundled mess <laughs> let's I want this color green and so let's see if we can figure out where the beginning of this thing is we're gonna tie this in you could sew it if you've been around me long enough and you know how to sew from being in the membership groups or watching my lives go ahead and sew it but I thought I would show you today a really simple way you can just tie this in so we're gonna take our pieces of paper here that's the center and I'm actually gonna do a couple of ties I'm gonna do it I'm going to wrap it a couple of times. So really so simple, you guys. I want to have a tail on the outside. I'm going to tie it on the outside. So we're going to do this. Leave enough to have a tie. And I'm going to wrap this twice. Maybe I'll do it three times. No, yeah, let's do it three times. I'm going to wrap it three times. And then we're going to tie it on the outside. So let me flip this. And I want to have enough to tie it on both sides. 
you guys, this is a really simple, simple way to make a really fast little journal. And the nice thing about doing it this way, because it's not sewn in, so I'm going to pull this taut. We had this conversation yesterday on the way to church. My 17 year old, my one of my, my other kid used the word taught in, a, in conversation and Landon was like, what the heck is that? I said, Landon, ACT word, buddy. You got to get ready for the ACTs. That is a good ACT vocabulary word. Taught. We're going to pull it taut. So snug, but if you pull really tight, it's paper. It's going to scrunch up your paper. Believe me, I know. But we're going to pull it taut and we're going to tie this right here and you can knot it if you want to. Um, or you can you can just tie it in a bow, however you want to do it. Um, the nice thing about this is it makes it really easy to add more. Oh, that, that ended up being very loose. It makes it really easy to add more pages. That ended up being looser than I want. I feel like I need another set of hands here. So I'm going to tie this in around the whole wrap. I'm going to wrap it around there and try to get it nice and tight on there. Yeah. And then I usually do a little bow because I like the look of it. You can string beads up on here. You can, uh, it ended up being really loose, you guys. This is where a second set of hands are nice because the person, <laughs> the second set of hands can hold it down while you tie it. You know, you need almost another, another set of hands. But the nice thing about this is you can easily slip pages in and out. So if you wanted to add a decorative piece of paper in here that you hadn't planned on, uh, let me see if I can find one. So let's grab, let me grab a book page from our scraps. Hold on, girls. So I have lots of book paper, or like this is a beautiful little piece of paper. It's from some of my playing with my jelly, my jelly plate. So if I wanted to add a decorative piece of paper in the middle here, the nice thing about a tied binding is you can just add it in there really fast. And then you can have that decorative piece of paper in the middle or whatever you want. There's just room to grow. And the other thing is you could always cut this off and do it again. If your book got so big and thick and chunky, which I hope it would, because <laughs> I love chunky journals, you could also do that. Um, where if it's all tied together and sewn together, that feels a little more permanent. Thanks for fluffing the nest, Marilyn. Isn't it cute and easy? You can handle this. You can totally handle this. Okay, let's decorate this front cover. I have some lace, um, I have some rice paper, I've got some bits of burlap and fabric. I've got this little green thing we could work in here. But it is, Down on the Farm is the theme for this week in the Craft Around the Clock group. If you're not a member of that group, it's free to join. So go ahead and join because you get to watch Crafting Around the Clock every 45 minutes, a new crafter going live, showing you really cute and inspiring projects, all kinds too, like a huge variety. Um, so I was going to chalk on the cover of this, but, but then I remembered, I keep, talk about like the hoarder, I keep the chalk tour journals because they're gorgeous um, and they're full of inspiration. And we have like a whole section that has to do with farm charm and, and down on the farm. And I have two really good options that I could put on the cover. And what I've been doing, because I'm a designer and I have lots of um, catalogs on hand, what I've been doing is cutting out some of these pretties on the inside of the book to put on the covers of my journals or in my journals. So what I would do here is literally, this is where, this is like a junk journaler's dream. We use what we have on hand from magazines, catalogs, junk mail, um, anything that you have on hand that's pretty <laughs> that you can use in your books. This is such joy for me to be able to create this way. So I have this option. This one is red and I'm not sure, but that could be really cute on the cover. The other option I had was My Roost, My Rules. So let me cut this one out. And you guys can vote. Which one do you think I should put on my cover? My Roost, My Rules or Life is Better in the Country? Let's cut this out and I'll show you this one. Now the funny thing about this, so this is the picture inside the catalog that showcases this transfer design. The transfer itself, you guys, is 12 inches by 18 inches. This is the transfer. This is the picture 
the example of the transfer being used decoratively. So I have been using my catalog. If you get scrapbooking catalogs or um, any kind of catalogs where you find pretty images, this is such a great way to use them. Why just throw them out? So it could be life is better in the country or my roost, my rules. You guys go ahead and vote and tell me which one you think we should put in here. Isn't it so cute? Thank you for commenting. Oh, Trisha says my roost, my rules. I'm seeing life is better in the country. Need to save. Diane, save your junk. Save your junk. And hang out with me because I'll show you lots of ways that you can use your junk in your journals. Lots of ways. So either way, whichever one we choose, and I'll let you guys keep voting. Comment which one you like better. Life is better. Life is better. I see a lot of that one. The red one, Lori says. So one thing that I need to do, because the collage, it's beautiful, but it really gets difficult then to see this on here. So we got to find a frame for it. So I have another bucket full of scrap paper that I could use to frame the life is better. Now that color, I think let's try to find a green piece of scrap because we have so much green, like kind of as the, the accent or theme color. That's not green, but that would work too. You guys, I'm gonna grab another bin of paper. If you just give me a second here, I have to go across the room because my room is only so big and grab, I'm gonna put out a couple of colors here that could be good options. And I'm gonna grab some more. There's a green. Oh, this one's just creamy and or like, a, like a creamy yellow and it has a nice texture to it. That might be hard for you to see, but believe me, it does. You guys, I keep all of these little scraps because you never know when you're gonna need one of these little pieces. And I try to be organized with them. Uh, let me just go grab girls, just hang tight and keep voting. What color base should we use? I just did a time check. We have about five minutes left, which is perfect. I think that's perfect for what we need to do for this cover. So you can, of course, <laughs> you guys, I have paper among paper among paper. You can, of course, use some of your stash of papers that you may already have, but I only need a tiny little chunk. I wanted to show you that because you can use that, but all of these bits of paper... You guys like this one, I think. Life is better. I think I cut this just a tad crooked. Um, and if we could work in the green, wouldn't that be cool? If we could make a green frame around it. Hmm, or brown. I like the brown one, too. Because that's super neutral. Brown. <laughs> Mick says use the brown. You like the yellow, Becca? All right, let's go with life is better. Let's just make that decision. And then let's see if we did the yellow, how soft and pretty is that? I like this a lot. And then I could work in that green. Maybe I could work this in here, like peeking out from behind somehow. This, this part to me is like pure joy. Um, this is the part where I get to like, layer things. Oh yeah, look at that little bit of green hanging out with my green cord. And then I could have this little bit of green hanging out here, right? I normally cut my edges. I, I normally like really torn edges, um, but that's okay for this one if we don't if we don't have that. I have little bits of fabric and burlap that I could also put, but I think I like this. And this looks like a little tab. The other option is to put the tab in here. because then we'd have the contrast of the yellow behind the green. Oh, I like that a lot, you guys. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm a little crooked in my cuttings. So <laughs> the only way I can get semi-straight is by using my cutting board. So let me just cut this straight. 
I just need to take a sliver off that end. Let's see about this side. I'm not sure. Let's just do it to be sure. I think I had enough space to do that, enough room. See, that, that little bit of a frame is really going to help. And we can keep this butterfly or moth. We don't have to lose that. So we'll glue this all down like that. And that's going to match our little string right here. I'm just, you can use tacky glue. You can use Elmer's glue. You can use whatever glue you want. Let's get this put together. So we decided we're going to put this here. Let's just make sure before we stick it down for good. Yeah, that looks good right there as a little tabby. Let me straighten it out. The nice thing about liquid glues as opposed to tapes is that you have room to move things if you're a little bit off, which I usually am. <laughs> and then this can go here. Oh, I love using my catalogs. I love not having to throw out all those gorgeous artistic um, projects. I mean, they're like little examples of all of the transfers that you can purchase to create with. And why not use them? Oh my gosh, I'm loving this cover. I'm loving this. Cheryl has several stamping up catalogs that she's kept. Good for you. Should we try to work in burlap too? I, I was thinking about sticking a little piece of burlap behind here, but I think, I think we'll be okay with this right here as our cover. And just give that time to dry. What a cute little book, you guys. I mean, really, we use junk. <laughs> Things that would have gotten thrown out otherwise. Um, so we use the cover of a scrapbook um, pad of paper. And then we used all our scraps of paper to make the cover. And then I used some legal paper that I had on hand to make the inside. So now we have all these beautiful crisp white pieces of paper ready to be created on. A piece of embroidery thread that I had on hand. I think when we're done here, I'm gonna retie this tighter so it's a little bit tighter. And then um, just an element from a journal, or excuse me, from a catalog, a pretty element. Um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today. I hope that you'll hang out with us here at the Comfiness with Grace. Woo, look at my hair. So hit that share button, you guys. Hit the share button so that you can be entered to win the Happy Mail. I'm going to send Happy Mail to a couple of people, um, and I'll pull that name later today. So if you're catching the replay, you can still hit the share button and let me know in the comments that you did. If you, whoops. If you enjoyed today's project, if you want to see more of this kind of thing, consider joining one of my membership groups or just hit the follow button here um, so you can follow along and kind of discover this process with me. And um, visit my website, thecomfynestwithgrace.com to buy supplies and napkins and rice papers, decoupage um, supplies on my site. Thank you guys for joining me. Head on over to Craft Around the Clock group. There is another crafter going right now, ready to share with you some more inspiration. It's a free group and the link is in the description of this video. Go make something pretty that brings your heart joy. Happy Monday.